My name is David Lynch. Welcome to the convention. In 1975, it was voted the greatest science fiction novel of all time. Now, Universal Pictures and Dino De Laurentiis present author Frank Herbert's epic story of survival and adventure, a story set on the vast desert planet Arrakis, a world also known as... Dune. Slate one, take one. On locations in Mexico City and in the vast deserts of the Southwest, writer-director David Lynch and producer Rafaela De Laurentiis are involved with the complex and difficult task of bringing Dune to the screen. Hold it there, John. Yes, David. To this end, Lynch, whose previous screen credits include Eraserhead and The Elephant Man, has assembled a prestigious technical crew. This team includes Oscar winner Freddie Francis, director of photography, who lensed both the Elephant Man and the French Lieutenant's Woman. Stand by. Will I stand by for another rehearsal, please? Let him see the worst. No, 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 Tony Masters, art director for 2001, is Dune's production designer. Working with such contributors as costume designer Bob Ringwood, Masters has helped to mold the shape of Dune. But not all of Master's responsibilities are artistic ones. There are also the practical considerations. It's, it's, gonna, it's getting that whip back, and yeah. that, they won't, that won't be believable at all. Well, uh, on the night, we're going to have a, a lot of loose stuff up there, too. So the as it moves forward, we're going to release gonna drop some the stuff. We're going to be top. falling down at well, yeah. um, and from up top. Go, 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 just let it go. For Dune's elaborate special effects, an international team of Academy Award-winning experts has been assembled. Chief among these are Kit West, director of mechanical effects, Oscar winner for his work on Raiders of the Lost Ark. Just a little bit of, uh, Kit, just give me your smallest amount. This is sort of all, yes, I, uh, you're right. Multi-Oscar winner Carlo Rombaldi, the man who built E.T., has turned his talents towards the construction of gigantic sandworms and strange guild navigators, two of the bizarre aliens inhabiting the universe of Doom. This, that was a little flatter. Oh, yes, these and, are flat. So, yes. You know, but flat. Yeah. Okay, Dina. Merde for the start, eh? <laughs> Let's do the fantastic stuff in this Okay, okay. All right. You better go there. But Dune is not only special effects. It is a human story as well. But he's like, when you're inside a veil, you can sort of see out. You can sort of see him, but to him, it's, it's all going funny and all uh, obscuring. The distinguished cast bringing its characters to life include Sting of the Police, Max von Sydow as Dr. Kynes, Jürgen Prochnov of Das Boat as Duke Leto, Sean Young of Blade Runner as Charm, Kenneth McMillan as the evil Baron Harkonnen, Francesca Annis as the Lady Jessica, and introducing Kyle McLaughlin as Paul. With over 70 sets, 4,000 costumes, and a crew of 600, Dune is one of the most lavish science fiction films of our times. Yet it retains a unique personal vision, an unparalleled marriage of Lynch's vivid imagery to a story that has inspired four sequels and fascinated 12 million readers worldwide. However, the 
Duke will die before these eyes. And he'll know, he'll know that it is I, I, and Vladimir Harkonnen, who encompasses his doom. This is a film of a spice called Melange. A film of politics and prophecy. A film set on a planet where water was more precious than life. This is Doom. <clears throat> this is, I'm sure, going to be done in history as one of the few films that follows the book so carefully that people are going to leave the theater trying to ask themselves, what did they leave out?